Doctors are using a common date rape drug to stop suicides. Dr. Sanjay Gupta looks at how it works. Check it out. The predominant thought was, I need to be, I need to be dead. I don't, I don't want to be here. Um, and that's for as far back as I ever remember. Major depressive disorder, post-traumatic stress. Alan Ferguson was 18 when he was first diagnosed. Over 35 years, he tried just about all the medications modern medicine had to offer. Did they work at all? No. I can, I can say that now. Alan picked a day he wanted to die, quit his job, gave away his dog, Zeke, and had a final phone call with loved ones. But almost as an afterthought, his psychiatrist asked if he would consider an anesthetic medication known as ketamine. I wasn't worried about trying something I had um, never tried before. I was worried about try, trying something else that wasn't going to work. Ketamine is widely thought of as a club drug, a date rape drug. But at several hundred centers around the country, doctors have been using it off-label to help patients at real risk of dying from suicide. Some have even referred to it as a save shot. For Alan, it worked, and fast, within hours. I honestly have never, um, have never had the experience of waking up and, and not being sorry that I woke up. I, I don't use hyperbole, but it is for me, it's phenomenal. Alan got his first infusion on May 25th, and his depression went from severe to mild. After a second infusion on June 1st, for the first time in his adult life, Alan no longer had depression. Dr. Kevin Kane gave Alan his infusions. I tell people that, you know, the ketamine is effective for 70% of patients with treatment-resistant depression. This is your room. This is my room. Yeah. For about 40 minutes, Alan sat here with this IV hooked up to his arm, a heart rate monitor, and his music. And he, he, people talk about hallucinations, uh, dissociations, uh, even out-of-body experience. Do you have any of that? The first day... Um, Alan told me it felt like his whole body was on Novocaine, like what you get at the dentist. We see those side effects, um, but I don't look at them as side effects. Um, you know, sometimes that can be a very powerful thing, that dissociation. Ketamine also seems to target areas of the brain that have withered away due to depression and grow new synapses, as you can see in this rat model. None of this comes cheap, nearly $500 an infusion, with most patients needing up to six infusions to start, with boosters every few weeks after. For now, insurance doesn't cover any of it. Since you took ketamine, have you ever wanted to, to die from suicide again? I have not had one single thought. Not a single thought now? Not one.